Younger Tenmu didn't care about how he looked, and he didn't pay attention to his appearance at all. He only wore clothes that he thought were comfy, and that was good enough for him. He had no sense of style. So he ended up wearing weird fitting t-shirts, gym shorts, and sneakers, and not even the cool kind. But then one day, younger Timo decided he wanted to step up his fashion game and actually start paying attention to how he looked. So he started browsing r slash male fashion advice. Oh no! He browsed the subreddit for a while and read a lot of posts before he decided to buy his first piece of actual clothing, an Oxford shirt. Oh no! No, younger Timo, don't do it. You don't want to look like a J. Crew ad. But unfortunately, this is a canon event that most young men must go through when they first start on their fashion journey. After spending a good amount of money on clothes that he didn't even really like the style of, one day he saw a picture of a guy who just out of nowhere struck him as looking really cool. And he decided, wow, I want to look like that. And so he tried to copy the outfit. And you know, he didn't hit the mark exactly, maybe like the sweatshirt was a little too baggy or something and didn't fit quite well. But from that mistake, he learned the lesson of the importance of how clothes fit. And that's a lesson that he could use for the rest of his life. And that, my friends, is what I believe to be the absolute best way for someone to kind of find their own sense of fashion. A lot of fashion YouTubers will tell you to, oh, just, you know, be yourself, express yourself, and just, you know, find your own sense of fashion. Um, but they won't tell you exactly like how to do that. And it's true, it's pretty individualized, it depends from person to person, but everyone has to start somewhere. And so with that being said, here are what I believe are the top three best fashion styles for Asian men. The first fashion style is the streetwear aesthetic. If there was one word that I could use to describe this aesthetic, it would probably be cool. Actually, that's kind of lame, but it is a really cool and good looking style and aesthetic. So let me break it down for you. There are three subcategories of the streetwear aesthetic that I think are really cool. Um, the first one is athleisure. The main components of an athleisure outfit is a nice oversized shirt or graphic t-shirt, some black shorts, and white shoes and white socks. And because it's t-shirts and shorts, this is great for, you know, summer and fall and just kind of like the warmer months. This guy pulls this aesthetic off really well, and this is a great example of an outfit that I think looks pretty cool. And as you can see, it's pretty simple when you really just break it down. He's just wearing an oversized graphic tee, some black Nike running shorts, white shoes and white socks, and then he has a bunch of accessories like his hat, his mask, his sunglasses, and he has like a bag as well. This is another picture of him. Um, again, uh, he has like a sweatshirt on this time, like a crew neck sweater, but he still is just wearing those black Nike shorts, white shoes, white socks. And again, he has a lot of accessories to kind of help elevate the outfit. This is another example of the athleisure, like streetwear aesthetic. Um, if you actually just pay attention to the pieces, they're all like very simple. Like it's like a pretty simple gray t-shirt with like a very simple graphic on the chest, um, like very simple black shorts, and just like, again, white shoes and white socks. And so the main formula for this aesthetic is to kind of have an oversized shirt or crew neck and then some like black well-fitting shorts and then white shoes and white socks. And then in addition to that, you want to have some accessories. So you'd want to have, you know, bags, sunglasses, hats, um, just like whatever, right? It's quite simple. It's really comfy and it just looks really fucking sick. This is actually all I wear during the summer. To pull this aesthetic off during colder months where you can't really wear shorts and a t-shirt anymore, you really want to take advantage of layering. Here's another streetwear outfit that I think looks really cool. And if you kind of break down his outfit, he's just wearing a black puffer jacket. He has like a flannel layered underneath and he's wearing some like nice black trousers that kind of lie really nicely over some white shoes. And these are all pretty basic components, but he kind of adds on to the outfit with his accessories, which are his hat, his like AirPods, I guess, and his bag. And again, layering is quite important. The fact that you can kind of like see his flannel peeking out from under his puffer jacket and the fact that his puffer jacket kind of lies on his waist where it does and it's not any like longer or shorter, all of this really pulls this outfit together really well. This is actually a really great time to talk about the rule of thirds. And this is essentially a general rule in fashion where you kind of want the components of your outfit to be in ratios of thirds. So for example, this guy's outfit, his top half with his like jacket and whatnot is around one third of his whole body's height. And then his pants and shoes and the bottom like I guess two thirds of his outfit like make up two thirds of his outfit, right? And so in doing so, he's following the rule of thirds. If we kind of go back to the other outfit with the shorts and the t-shirts, you can kind of see that with the shorts kind of being shorter um, and kind of lying above knee length, which a separate point in its own is kind of the ideal length for shorts in my opinion. Um, the top half with the oversized t-shirt kind of makes up two thirds of the outfit, I suppose. And the shorts are slightly shorter, so they make up like the last remaining one third. And so this is another way to kind of take advantage of the rule of thirds. Here's another great example. As you can see, the guy's sweater and like the kind of white t-shirt he has laid underneath takes up around the top one thirds of his outfit. And then that kind of makes his legs look longer as well with his baggier pants. Um, they take about like the bottom two thirds of his whole height. Again, this guy has a lot of cool accessories, 
his bag, his beanie, his sunglasses, and his earphones. And he's also layering really well and having like the white t-shirt kind of just peek out from underneath his sweater. And this is just another fantastic outfit. One thing that I've found that really helps is generally having the bottoms be a darker color or shade than the top of the outfit. So for example, this guy's wearing his black Nike running shorts and then his shirt is like a slightly lighter but still like dark gray color. This guy's pants are baggy but they're black and then his top is like, you know, again, gray and like a lighter shade. And I've found this general principle of having darker bottoms and lighter tops to just make your outfits look better for some reason. Like I don't really know why, but that just seems to be how it is. So the next subcategory of the streetwear aesthetic is the cool like Korean webtoons fashion style. If you've ever read one of those, chances are you've noticed how a lot of the characters in these like dress pretty cool. So we'll use this webtoon called Windbreakers as an example. Um, it's where the very famous J. Joe haircut actually comes from. Like this is the original webtoon. Uh, funny story, I actually started reading this webtoon because of the J. Joe haircut and it's like pretty good. So I'd recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. But again, their outfits are pretty cool. Um, the biggest thing that they take advantage of is layering. As you can see in both of these outfits, they like all kind of have that little like ruffle of white t-shirt like, kind of standing out from underneath their like hoodie or their jacket, right? And the actual jacket and sweatpants are like quite simple. It's just like a regular like, I don't know, track or like athletic jacket and like regular like somewhat baggy sweatpants, right? And so to kind of like give depth and kind of add to this like very simple outfit and add to these very simple pieces, um, having a white t-shirt that like layers like this underneath just really like makes the outfit look better. Again, accessories really help and these are actually a great way to kind of like put some color into your outfit as you notice like a lot of these base pieces are either like black or white or just like very base colors. So you kind of add color into your outfit by either wearing like an orange cap and some like cool like glasses like this guy does or having like the actual design on your hoodie like have some color as well. Once you've kind of leveled up your fashion skill a good amount and you kind of know like how clothes should fit and like what kind of fits go well together, like baggy and baggy or like skinny and baggy, et cetera, et cetera, then you can start using like colored main pieces, kind of like these outfits. So as you might notice, these outfits are really colorful um, and that kind of brings another point, like black is a pretty big component of the streetwear aesthetic, um, probably because like most, if not all people will look good in black. And it also kind of has like a slimming and elongating effect. So like if you wear like black pants, for example, like your like legs will kind of look like skinnier, but also like longer. But again, for these colorful outfits, you really have to know like what kind of colors go well together, as well as like what fits of these colors will go well together, if that makes sense. But these outfits are very colorful and they actually work really well, but there is definitely a lot of room to kind of go wrong here. So just be wary of that when you're trying things out. One thing that I will point out is if you notice, all these guys' pants are kind of a darker shade than all their tops are. So again, that kind of brings back the general rule of having like darker colored bottoms than tops. I really don't know why it just looks better, but it does. The final kind of subcategory of this streetwear aesthetic is the kind of like soft boy slash like TikTok fashion aesthetic. And this aesthetic is great for like fall and spring and kind of like the colder months, just because there's a lot of like baggy pants and a lot of like layering. So as you can see, this outfit is mainly structured by some baggier pants and then kind of like a regular fitting or like slimmer t-shirt. And then again, a lot of accessories. Like this guy's wearing like a carabiner, he has like a belt. It's a bag, like necklaces, rings, just like tattoos, just like a bunch of stuff, right? And again, this outfit kind of follows the rule of thirds where, you know, his shirt kind of makes up the top third of his height and then his baggier and longer pants kind of make up the bottom two thirds of his height. Here's another great example. He has like a slimmer top with some baggier pants and again, a lot of accessories and this fit looks like really fucking sick, right? If it gets colder, you can kind of just layer with a nice crew neck that's slightly oversized or like regular fitting as well as some like jackets that are also like, you know, slightly baggy, but like they kind of still keep like the rule of thirds with their like, the way that they sit on the waist. Again, notice how in all these photos, they take advantage of layering by having out like the white t-shirt kind of peek out from underneath their top and they're all wearing a lot of accessories. Now, because you're wearing these longer baggier pants, generally you want your shoe choice to be kind of chunkier. So like Nike shoes are really great for this, like Dunks, um, like Air Forces, and then like these other random like chunky black shoes also like look surprisingly good with this like aesthetic. So if you do like this aesthetic, I'm gonna go over some wardrobe basics that you can get to kind of start dressing this way. So you want slightly oversized graphic tees or even just like regular tees. You want a pair of nice fitting black shorts and I personally recommend this like pair of Nike running shorts. Like I have these personally and this guy also wears them a lot. Um, they're just really nice shorts and they fit really well, so. Next up we have white socks and white shoes. I don't know what it is about this combination but it just looks really clean and crisp. Um, just like the white sock and white shoe combination together. And it just goes well with like pretty much all casual outfits. For layering and colder weather, you want like a slightly oversized hoodie or a crew neck. You want some baggy pants that are also quite long so they kind of like lie on top of your sneaker. And then you want a lot of accessories. So these can be things like, you know, baseball caps, sunglasses, jewelry, you know, like earrings, necklaces, rings, bracelets, um, cool bags. 
One accessory that's actually strangely common in all these fits is like a carabiner plus keys that you kind of hang off of like the belt loop on your pants. I think for these outfits, your hair also generally plays a pretty big part in how you look and you generally want some like medium length hair. So like a two block or like a middle part or like a wolf cut or kind of something along the lines of that. Honestly, if you dress cool enough, you can have like a buzz cut too and you'll look sick as fuck. And that's all you really need for this aesthetic. It's quite simple and that's another like benefit of this streetwear aesthetic. One thing I will say is that thrift stores or like vintage stores are a great place to find like really cool like bags or like you know vintage hoodies and like some cool like graphic t-shirts that you probably wouldn't find in any like mainstream retail store. So this kind of brings us to the next fashion style where it's like not necessarily just like a subcategory of streetwear but like a fashion style in its own and this is the soft boy aesthetic. So this aesthetic is generally made up of straight to baggier pants as well as kind of like slightly oversized to like regular fitting t-shirts chunky shoes, and generally there's like some sort of layer over like a white t-shirt basically, whether that be like, you know, a vest, a crew neck sweater, or like a cardigan or something. And again, a lot of accessories, you know, bags, keychains, um, jewelry. So one thing that kind of stands out about this aesthetic is the actual colors of the pieces, where before the streetwear aesthetic is a lot of black and maybe like some pop of color here or there. And this aesthetic, it's a lot of kind of lighter colors. So it's like your beiges, like a lot of like earth tones, um, you know, earthy greens, and also like light wash blue jeans. But again, also black will still look good in this like aesthetic. There are generally no graphics on any of the pieces in this aesthetic where it's all just kind of like plain blank pieces. It's great for kind of like spring and autumn and just general like colder sweater weather months, but like nothing too cold or too hot because there is layering, but it's not like extremely warm layering. So if you do like this aesthetic, here are some wardrobe basics that you can get to kind of get you started. You're gonna need a regular to slightly oversized plain white t-shirt as well as just like various shirts and other like earth tones. You'll also want some layering pieces like crewnecks, sweaters, and vests. Light wash jeans are pretty common in this aesthetic. You're gonna want them to fit either like quite straight or like even baggy. You're also gonna want some baggy beige trousers and also like baggy black trousers as well. Um, yeah, there's just like a lot of like baggy pants in this aesthetic. There's no like shorts at all really. And finally, you're gonna want some chunky white shoes. And a lot of accessories. Tote bags are also really common. As for hair, again, with the kind of soft boy slash TikTok fashion aesthetic, middle length hair will kind of look best with this aesthetic. So it'll be like your two block, your mid part, your wolf cuts, just things like that. So the final fashion style is the modern menswear aesthetic. This is kind of a more mature and also more formal aesthetic. And as the name suggests, it has a lot of like pieces from modern, like smart casual menswear. So you have things like button up shirts, polos, like regular fitting trousers, um, like Oxford slash like dress shoes and just kind of things like that to kind of like look smart and like sharp. So I actually realized that this aesthetic was like a fantastic aesthetic from a movie actually. And it was during like the Shang-Chi movie where like his evil dad like pops up on screen. And this dude is just like dressed so like cleanly and dressed so well, but like also so simply. And that's kind of just where it like clicked in my mind where like, wow, this is kind of just like a fantastic fashion style. So this fashion style has a lot of pieces from traditional menswear. So for the tops, you're gonna want like, you know, button up shirts and polos. Um, and just kind of like variations of these shirts and like different textures. Um, and you're gonna want these in kind of like base colors in like white, black, navy, maybe even like gray or like light beige. And you want these to be like pretty well fitted to your body. So like either regular or like even like a slimmer fit. And for the bottoms, you're just gonna want trousers in black, navy and gray, and maybe some like chinos and beige for like kind of more casual occurrences. And you want these trousers to kind of like fit to your leg as well. So like kind of like a regular to maybe even like slimmer fit. Um, and you also want them to be like a little shorter, so like maybe like almost like ankle length. And for the actual shoes, you're gonna want like, you know, loafers and like dress shoes and like, I guess if you're going for like a more casual look, you're gonna get these like, I don't know, like these slip-on sneakers that you kind of see a lot. Um, yeah, there's not too much room for like personalization here. And then as for your accessories, the only accessories you're really gonna want is like a watch. And then you don't wanna go like too crazy on any other accessories because it's like a very like formal and I guess like elegant look and aesthetic. And because the pieces are so basic and the colors are also like quite basic and plain as well, the emphasis is more on like the fit and how like the clothes fit around your body and how like the clothes make your body look. So your physique is actually quite important with this fashion style and it's almost like emphasized and put in the spotlight. So for your hair, you actually have a lot of room for customization here. You can rock like a middle length hairstyle with like a two block or a mid part um, and anything like shorter as well. You can even go for something like a slick back undercut. Like this cut actually looks like pretty cool to be honest. And a lot of shorter kind of more like generic hairstyles that I usually kind of like shit on actually do kind of look pretty good with this aesthetic just because it's kind of like a more traditional menswear aesthetic. So those are what I believe are the three best fashion styles for Asian men. It's worth noting that you can kind of rock more than one of these aesthetics at the same time. 
Um, for example, for more like lounging or casual outings, you can rock like a soft boy or like streetwear aesthetic. Um, that's personally what I prefer. And then for more like formal events and occurrences for like a dinner date or like, I don't know, something like that, you can kind of go for more like the more dressed up modern menswear aesthetic. Um, and in doing so, you kind of have like, you know, the best of both worlds, right? And another thing is that these are kind of just like general frameworks. And like, I guess I chose pictures that I think personally look pretty cool. Um, the best way to kind of like figure out your own unique style is to kind of find pictures of outfits and people that you think looks cool and like just like try your best to like copy them like there's no like plagiarism or whatever in fashion like just copy them and then once you kind of like just you have a good idea of like what you like then you can kind of like from there go on to kind of personalize things in your own unique style so it's kind of like the idea that you want to like learn a specific subject well and kind of get down like the basics and the fundamentals before you kind of like innovate in that field and by kind of like copying these outfits, you probably will make mistakes. Like you might buy a shirt that like doesn't quite fit the exact way that it does in the picture. So it looks kind of like off, but like you'll learn like lessons from that. And like, you'll learn that the fit of the shirt is quite important. You'll pay more attention to that. You might learn how to like, you know, bring your shirt to the tailor for like 20 bucks and just kind of get that like fitted around your body pretty well. Um, and just like all these like various things that you'll learn along your fashion journey that will kind of like build up and carry over into your outfits for pretty much like the rest of your life. And one more thing to note is that most of these fashion styles do look the best on a lean aesthetic body. Um, like if you have like a lean aesthetic physique, then you'll be able to pull any of these three aesthetics off and look good in it because the proportions will kind of like just fit right and just like look better in general, especially for like the modern menswear aesthetic where your physique is kind of more emphasized because the pieces are so basic. Like if you have a good aesthetic physique, you can honestly just wear like basic fitted clothes and you'll still like look really good. Like for example, when I was in Europe this summer, I was at a um, outdoor like calisthenics workout park and there was this one French couple and the guy was wearing like very basic workout clothes, right? It was just like very like basic, like black t-shirt, black shorts and like sneakers or something, right? And they like fit him like very well in that like his outfit still like stood out from the rest of the people at the workout park just because of like how the outfit fit him and how he had like a pretty like regular and lean, like just like somewhat aesthetic physique, right? And like just having good fitted clothes and like the aesthetic physique like alone kind of like made him stand out like against literally everyone else at the street workout park. So again, it's kind of just the idea that like kind of clothes don't make the person. Um, it's more about like they kind of elevate your person and appearance and physique. So it's important to kind of have like a good base for clothing basically. So that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments or, you know, like join my discord and ask me there. Um, and then if you're interested in working on me one-on-one, -on -one, then you'll find more information in that in the description below. But other than that, thanks for your time and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.